Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. You are joining me in the south of France. We're at a campsite. Uh, we're not far from Montpellier and we've been uh, on the road for about 10 days now and been at this campsite for about a week now. And I would, thought I would uh, give you like a re real world uh, run through of the benefits of the MultiPlus and a Victron system. Because we often get asked by folks, what's the benefit of getting a MultiPlus over like a Phoenix inverter? And uh, here's a perfectly good example, which I thought I would show you quickly. So let's have a look and uh, see how good the MultiPlus has been for us. So to start off with, I'll just quickly show you here, if you can see it quickly. But a lot of trees around the campsite, so it's pretty busy. So the electric cooker post is behind the washing lines over there, and there are sort of six outlets or so there. And all of the vans in the area are on that. And it's a low amperage output, so limited to six amps. So if you were to uh, pretty much do anything like run heat your water or uh, run an induction hob or an air fryer, any of those on that it would trip the post. And I'm actually not even sure where the breaker is. It might be in the actual post somewhere. And there's a, there's a locked cover on the post, so you probably then have to go to reception and it becomes a bit of a rigmarole to actually reset it. But in my van, I've got everything running through the multiplus. So I have three 280 amp hour batteries in my van. And then I've got everything electrical running through the uh, multiplus, including the fridge. So my fridge, uh, when it's on hookup, or or if I'm not on hookup, I can run it on, on the inverter. And heating as well. As you can see there, that's, and I am on hookup currently, but currently heating the water. And what that means is that the MultiPlus is assisting with the, what, what we need. So I've limited it to, I think, actually four amps here, just to demonstrate. Obviously, we're pulling just under 600 amps, sorry, 600 watts from the grid. And the AC load is just under 900 watts. So part of that is coming from the batteries. Uh, which is ideal, obviously quite a high DC load as well, got quite a few lights on, we've got an extra freezer running in the back in the garage of the van, and uh, we've got Starlink on all the time, etc. So uh, quite a lot of uh, juice being pulled, and because of the tree cover here, we don't really have good solar currently, so the electric hookup at this particular site is essential, but it's also really handy having the multiplus, because I can go in here, you can see there, but it's set to just under 4 amps, and so it's pulling quite a lot from the batteries. And then obviously, as soon as I turn the appliances off, it then recharges the batteries. So I'm going to start cooking dinner now and just show you what we've been doing. All right, here's what we've got going on. We've got some potatoes roasting in the air fryer over here. And got some courgettes sauteing here. And you get some carrots boiling here. All of that is running currently, which I'll show you. And we're pulling 2.4 kilowatts from the system. Only 640, 650 watts from the electric hookup. And the rest of that is obviously being supplied by the batteries down here, as you can see. So pretty impressive. And this would not be possible if you didn't have a MultiPlus or an option of pulling the power from your battery, because uh, if you try to pull that from the post, it would trip it, because that's quite a lot of power that's pulling. So that just shows you the benefit of the MultiPlus and obviously you could get away with an inverter get it doing the same but the advantage of the MultiPlus you don't even have to think about it you just set the limit there's no risk of tripping the post because the max that it'll ever pull from the post is the is the input current limit that you set so yeah it's looking pretty good all right and food's just about ready and this just shows you that the air fry and the induction don't pull constantly all the time so they sort of go on and off as they need to heat, etc. So you can see here we've used about 7% of the battery uh, consistently discharging using the power assist in the MultiPlus. But obviously as soon as we turn those appliances off and then we go back to being able to pull more from the grid, even with the low input current limit, then what we are outputting, then the batteries will charge back up. So that 7% will be charged back up this evening fairly quickly. So there we go. So there we go, folks. Wanted to give you a quick rundown of how the MultiPlus actually benefits you to be able to run loads of stuff on your electric, even if you have a low amperage uh, post, electric cooker post at a campsite. So our food is just about ready, so I'm going to tuck into that. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.